Hello and a very good Tuesday morning. Meteorologist Joe Struess here with a quick web weather update to your 25 News First Alert forecast. Our temperatures right now prior to daybreak are warmer than they will be by the end of the morning commute. A cold front sliding through as we speak. And so we'll talk temperatures right around 40 degrees by 7. I think we fall further into the upper 30s by 8, 9 a.m. And then from the middle of the day onward, we'll start to see those temperatures rebound a bit. I think low to mid 40s into the afternoon. Mostly cloudy skies give way to partly cloudy skies and some sunshine through the afternoon. That's a welcome change that sticks with us for much of our day tomorrow. I think Wednesday sets up as a relatively dry day. It won't be until after, say, 9 o'clock Wednesday night before we see some showers moving in. The greatest chances for rain here through the middle of the week will be from midnight through about 9, 10 a.m. on Thursday. And you can see very likely rain chances during that period could even mix in a little bit of wintry precip on the back side of things. So here's how it all sets up on Futurecast. Much of the day tomorrow trending very dry. This is 4 o'clock on your Wednesday. Dinner plans looking just fine. 9 o'clock onward, a few showers work in. There's the widespread moderate to at times heavier rain through that uh, Thursday morning commute period. Futurecast tries to mix in a couple of snowflakes on the back side of things Thursday morning. Sure, that could happen. As far as accumulations, though, we are not expecting much at this point because of the warm nature of this system and of the warmer temperatures on the ground currently. Could see a couple of snowflakes on Friday as well. A little of snow, uh, no snow accumulation expected there during that period as well for us. The larger story here will be the rainfall. One to about an inch and a half of rainfall expected by the time it's all done Thursday morning. There you go, a couple of scattered snow showers on Friday. We're colder to open up the weekend, and then by next week, a forecast that you could say we might love a little more with highs back in the 50s.